Hey, Wyoma and Silent Majority. Welcome to Leveled Writing. I am Nasta Boss. Today we're going to be more or less going over generating things um, of this nature. Generating names, generating languages, um, places, etc. Well, uh, the way I go about what I normally do is I'm like, so normally what I do is like what's been what's been done. We do everyone has like you know beam attacks, uh, single hand, ball like attack kind of things. Generating names for this kind of stuff is like it's like it's the name. Associate it something else. And then um what I do is I and then add that aspect to the start of it. Followed by a scramble of various objects. Another thing I like doing is is taking taking a name, scrambling it, and and giving it another um, and adding something adding adding in another aspect so if we can get some examples we have let me grab a hmm. Let me grab one of my games. Here's Wind Waker. So, so either go online and find a word scrambler, or you ask, I don't know, your favorite AI and tell them, hey, uh, can you scramble this for me? Fair enough, it's going to scramble it for you and then ask for like several iterations. Pick the best one. So if I'm going to do this one, it's like, Yep, that'll work. So we have Alzend. And then we can just gen generate another name on that. So we'll go with Dern Caller. That's a that's literally how easy this literally becomes. So then if we go with, let's go for my boy Spyro. So. Riosp, and then I'll grab another one. Literally, stuff like that. So now let's go with something else. So we go. So now let's take a word like this. Kitsune. We got. Mm. 
we got okay we got other ones we got Castino. I always want to add the word LaCroix to it, so let's go with and then we go with no, 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 not that. No, that's not a good one either. We got that too. So honest, yeah, like that. Now, if we wanted to, we can do an H sound for this one as well, and then add a T at the end. So, if we wanted to, we can do the following. Or a pun, if you want. How did you get undone? Eesh. So this is generating and scrambling stuff. Now, if we're going to have a weird language, there's a couple of things I like to do. FB... V A E A I R E A O U Uh, sorry, a U actually. I know there's another one with like C or something in it. Uh, did I put A-E? Yes, I did. X VFS um, Oh no, FV FVS uh, Coming to the bottom here, so yeah, that's about it. Never forget these combinations of uh, letters. For a fantasy language, this works more or less. And if you need magic words, literally make it up.
literally make it up. Um, if I could recommend, um, at all, um, literally just adding in absolute garble, like, using garble mesh, or, or, or anything. Using garble mesh can literally just make magic words happen. Look at that. Literally, you might as well just keyboard mash. In fact, then just throw in a couple of vowels somewhere. It's way because you have zero. Literally, you could almost keyboard mash and it worked. Magic words, easy. You could basically keyboard mash your way through it. And what's another thing I we can do? Oh my god. Let me think. That's name generating languages. Oh, sci fi. That's another topic we can talk about. Science fiction. Science fiction. Languages there. Um, genuinely, I have absolutely zero idea. Because we have magic words here. This could be used for names. Kinda. But for this. <laughs> or from Star Wars. Um, what's his name? Uh, Doctor Who? I think Doctor Who does things with... Um, like futurism? But then we got, what's that other one? Star Trek, there we go. I find it... Now, I haven't seen these movies in quite some time. So I'm not as uh, fresh up on it as I should be. But... Like, Star Wars has, like, sounds for droids, so it's, like, like, it's in books for droids, like, we have that kind of stuff. I don't actually know <coughs> the, um, any of the other languages. But we got other things we got. I don't even, like, I don't see three people, like, speaks English. Like. I think he also has his own, like, toy tongue. I don't know what it is. Uh. That was, um, have like two dialects, 
one in corporate set of spell or this is and the other is normal. Oh, like we got that. Chewbacca even has his own language. I guess. Like, I just say borrow from Star Wars and have a vast amount of effectively alien language. Um, and then, like, then, like, what we do is, like, we borrow and and just like almost like make it up like can you imagine if it was like oh, what's his name yeah chewbacca um like it's just some dude gargling water in his mouth it's like and it's like what like <laughs> we got stuff like this running around make do with that way what you will but I find it not hard. I just find it I find it easy to do this kind of stuff. I do this for like a living. Um, I'm trying to find one more point I can do because right now I think I'm starting to run out of steam for this. I'll come back to this probably someday soon. Um. Dang. No, I'm out of steam right now. I may have to come back to this someday. But then, essentially, I'll just recap this. Jedi names can be as easy as this for a fantasy series. Uh, at incorporating this into either names or magic words or anything can be that. Um, made up made up mesh and then this is keyboard matching kind of incredible how even this can generate words droids this is what we're borrowing from i don't know i know nothing about star wars or doctor who uh star trek and doctor who I'll be entirely honest. And in summary, that's about it, actually. We pretty much have it covered. We're going to hit about 100 subs soon, so sub down below if you made it this far into the video. And give me a comment, too. Uh, with that, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Sonic Summer coming after... I think it's like like partway through June. So then, K, okay. ciao.